it seems like genetics should play a major role in this. Like if you're going to want to really move the needle, I mean, you're just one golf course or you're just one lawn or whatever. But to, if you want to do your part, to me, I would choose genetics before I started fidgeting with irrigation system technologies. You can have the best irrigation system in the world, but if you have the genetics in your lawn or your golf course or sport turf that just happens to need a lot of water, you're going to have to apply more water than you would need to if you didn't have that genetic, if you had a lower water use turf grass. So it's like painting. You know, if you're going to start designing a painting, you're going to th think about it and think about it. You better have a good canvas to work on first. You know, make sure your canvas is clean. Put some gesso on that canvas, you know, get it, get it where you want it first. Then start fidgeting with the colors and the paint quantities and then you're doing acrylics or you're doing oil or whatever. Then start fidgeting with that. But if you don't have the canvas set up first, I, I don't know how useful it is going to be to, to start, you know, trying to throw money at efficient technologies and irrigation systems and, and nozzles and spray. Vo I mean, you know, those are important, but let's get the, the canvas built first by using proper genetics. <laughs>